PPMD is one of the five gods at Smash Bros. Melee, alongside Mango, Hungrybox, Mewtwo King, and Armada, seen as one of the greatest to ever play this game. The best in the world in 2014, he was really on top, winning back-to-back -to -back Apex Series tournaments. Everyone knows and loves PPMD with chance of his famous saying while he's playing. Realized it was a double hit move, not just a fair. That's right, all right, PPMD needs to <laughs> The he stack it up set is louder than I may have heard it in years. Though he was one of the best players in the world to ever play Smash, how good was he actually? We saw a great rise of PPMD, what made him a god of the game, and his eventual decline as a Smash competitor. Kevin PPMD Nanny, formerly known as Dr. PP, coming from North Carolina, was always a relatively good player at Smash. And if you want to be good at Smash 2, you better subscribe or I'll throw your CRT off a cliff. PPMD began playing in 2009 and quickly rose up the ranks in his home region, becoming the best player in his home state. PPMD got into competitive Smash when he was a casual Mario main, and he wanted to learn more about the game, and in his own words, see if anyone can beat my Mario. Being the best kid on the block with his Mario, no one around him could beat everyone's favorite plumber. He ended up discovering the competitive scene, and he also switched to Falco, as Mario kinda sucks for competitive play. From there, he began entering tournaments under the name Dr. PP. His gamertag came from him saying it was bad enough to not want to stand out in middle school, and one day juice was spilled on his pants and one of his friends was making fun of him, saying it looked like he peed himself. His friend was calling him a lot of names one day, and ended up calling him Dr. PP for one of them. He most clearly remembered that, and after, the name stuck, and became legendary in the Smash Bros community. PPMD first garnered attention in 2009 at Revival of Melee 2. His Falco outplaced Mango and only fell to eventual champion, the clutch god Hungrybox. From there, he continued to place highly and developed a rivalry with Mewtwo King, with many notable combos and wins coming alongside each other. PPMD's first notable tournament win was Revival of Melee 3, where he came from losers to defeat Mewtwo King in two sets to win the tournament. This is really what put PP on the map as it was his first major win. PPMD continued to do well, and while he couldn't defend his title at Revival of Melee 4 against Mango, he won pound 5 from losers, defeating Mewtwo King, Hungrybox, and Armada twice to win it. Other notable tournaments he won from 2011 to 2012 include Zenith 2012 over Mewtwo King, Kings of Cali over Mango, and Tipped Off 7 over XIF. He placed within the top 4 in every event he entered, with notably low placements being 5th at Apex 2012 losing to Javi, and 7th at Genesis 2 losing to S2J. Around this time, PPMD struggled with certain matchups on Final Destination with Falco against Mewtwo King's Marth and Armada's Peach, so then he began developing his own secondary. Uh oh, use it as in. I'm just kidding. While he used Marth for fun, he stated that he first used him against Armada and decided to continue developing him against other top players at the time. He kept doing so and began to see success with the character that he officially picked up Marth and became a dual main, one of the first top players to have a secondary character that was used in tournaments often. 2013 rolled around and PPMD fell to Armada at Apex after a reset losing the tournament, but was able to take a win at his next one beating Mewtwo King of Xanadu where we got these god tier clips. <laughs> Yeah. And some people taking off work, they ended up not going, but that's a different story. Okay. So I was like, okay, well, I'm trying to, you know, there's already a movement for this. People already want to go. Why not, you know, like, people still want to do something. Why not just, like, honor that doing something? All right, well, you know, when you win the Falco Ditto, you could sit in the chair, guy. Come on. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. He lost his next tournament at Zenith to Mango, though bringing him back down to Earth. During this time, he was also picked up by his first sponsor, Video Game Bootcamp, or VGBC for short. Evo was hosting Melee that year, and PPMD was doing well. He fell to Wobbles, who had brought to prominence the now banned and controversial technique known as wobbling, then losing to Mango in the loser's bracket, finishing at 5th place. He was able to get 3rd, being triumphed by a Kanye hungry box at the Big House 3, but ended the year off strongly, getting his revenge on H-Box and winning tipped off 9. Around this period, the title of the 5 Gods of Melee became increasingly popular. PPMD, Mango, Armada, HBox, and Mewtwo King were the five gods. They were titled as such because of how much better and dominant these five players were. They very rarely lost to players outside of each other, and they were almost always only outplaced by each other as well as taking major tournaments. If all of them were in attendance, no one else was winning the tournament, period, until Leffen came around. The term was so popular that it even spawned a god-themed tournament a few years later titled Battle of the Five Gods. 
2014 was one if not PPMD's best year. He started it by dominating Mewtwo King to win Apex, notably four stalking him twice, and he would repeat this at Skatar, Skatar, Star, Fe, fuck, I don't know, four stalking Mewtwo King again to win the tournament. He also won smaller tournaments UNC Game Fest and Civil War, having qualified for MLG 2014, where PP was the favorite to win it all. He failed to do so and was eliminated by Mewtwo King for fourth. Notably, he nearly almost JV-fied Hacks money, and while he did not succeed, he did freshman 40 him. Which is absolutely insane considering Hax was the 7th best player in the world at the time. PP was also part of the East vs West Coast crew battle where he nearly went stock for stock versus Mango, being considered the East Coast's best player. He then placed 4th at his next tournament, being EVO 2014 losing to Armada. You may have noticed a difference with PP's tag and jersey change over the last few tournaments. Due to Smash's growing popularity and the release of the Smash Brothers documentary in 2013, gaining a great deal of popularity, PPMD made some changes. He stopped using Dr. PP and switched his tag to PPMD. To sound more professional in his own words, we esports now. He also parted ways with VGBC and signed with Evil Geniuses. Outside of Melee, he attended the Wii U Smash Invitational. While he didn't win, placing 5th, it was good to know Melee was on the map and he got to be a part of it. And in 2014 was also the decline of PPMD's tournament attendance, with him later clarifying it was due to health issues. Despite this, however, he still remained one of the very best players at the time. He also adopted a much more positive mindset towards the game. While he used to be an emotional player, and he himself stated that he used negative emotions like anger to feel his play, he didn't want to continue that mindset. He tried to have a more positive outlook and has stated that even if the result isn't what he wanted or was expected of him, he'll accept it. This change in attitude also made it hard to fluster him and made it even harder to beat him in bracket. Even though he didn't enter a tournament in 5 months, PP won Apex 2015, a huge feat given his lack of activity and presence of all the other 5 gods and newly styled god slayer Leffen, this really put him back on the map as he won in such a dominant fashion. He lost a game 5 set to Armada in the first part of grand finals but swept the Swedish sniper in grand final bracket reset. Other wins this year included Canada Cup and a surprise appearance at the Foundry with him notably styling with Mario. His other two appearances this year were 5th at Smash Summit losing to Plop and 3rd at EVO losing to Hungrybox. His attendance took an even more noticeable decline even than before. He also notably used Marth more often, with him stating that Marth is better when he's in a low energy mode and Falco when he has a lot more energy. Despite this, he's still able to switch mid-set and perform extremely well with both characters. 2016 was the last year PPMD attended tournaments to compete, with only two. He placed 6th at Genesis 3, losing to Mango. Yes, he got 6th place at a tournament. Poppy's car was actually right. There's a rule in Smash where if you tie for a placing, you can play a match against someone who tied with you to see who gets the higher place, such as 5th or 6th, or 7th and 8th. SVAT, who plays 5th, challenged PPMD, but PP forfeited, so he officially placed 6th and SVAT got fifth. Look at the website, I'm not kidding. This is important because this was his second to last tournament he ever attended as of recording this video in 2023 where he would compete. PPMD's last tournament was the aforementioned Battle of the Five Gods. It wasn't the greatest display and he ended up placing 10th, a far cry from what he usually placed. And this footage here is the last of him competing at a major. The only other appearance he had was a doubles only showing a year later at Bad Moon Rising in 2017 teaming with his good friend Lazar. Although he didn't win the tournament, the crowd loved PPMD, with the highlight of the tournament being the set between PP and Lazar versus Hbox and Crunch. Uh, oh, that's not good though. Uh -oh. It's gonna be tough now. It's gonna be real tough. Reese has to play this perfect. They need to get like a really clean kill. There we go, there's one. Oh, oh my god! No Time way! Game. Time game, game five at BMR2. No way! Oh my expect? god. Oh! Nice air down there. Laws are going to town on Crunch. Oh, oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh, you're confused! Some miscommunication there. Oh He's my there. god! He's there! He got it! Everyone was just so excited to see him competing at any capacity. The crowd even rushed the stage and it was only losers quarters of the doubles bracket. Though they got 3-0'd the next set, PP still received a standing ovation showing how much of a fan favorite he was. This was the last time he ever entered a tournament and may have been his last forever. For um, Lazar's last tournament, the last tournament for the legendary Cactus team, you know, they had a hell of a run though. Yeah. 
PPMD has not returned to tournaments since, but he's kept up with the scene. He's had commentary appearances here and there like at Genesis 7, and recently has even played Slippy against some of the current best such as IBDW, now known as Cody Schwab. In 2021, PPMD left Evil Geniuses and later that year joined Golden Guardians. As a commentator and content creator for their team, he seems to be doing a lot better which is amazing and he's blessing our scene by still staying active, even if he isn't playing in tournaments. So how good was PPMD actually? The guy only lost to a few non-top 6 players throughout his entire god career. His presence was dominant even when he was showing up not in his best state for his later years, and PP's time at the top level was the shortest of the 5 gods, but just as dominant. PPMD never placed outside of a major tournament top 8 except at Pound 4 and Battle of the 5 gods. Many watching this video never got to experience watching PP play live but he had such a huge impact on the Smash community, even pioneering the Marth vs Sheik matchup, showing that it's possible for Marth to beat Sheik. Today, it's <laughs> a little bit different though. PP, please come back. A lot of players then attributed the strides he made in the matchup though, and PP was the first player who wasn't attending most tournaments and still played at the tippity top level, having a more analytical style towards melee instead of countless hours into practicing. At one point, he almost had an Armada-like presence where he couldn't lose, like during both of his Apex runs in 2014 in 2015. While it seems like he won't return to being a competitor, he's still up to date creating content and still commentating Melee to this day. We even had a surprise appearance of him at Genesis 7 where he blessed us with his commentary, making the whole chat PPMD Craigasm. You can also see him posting weekly on the Golden Guardians Melee YouTube channel, where he hosts Radio Melee, a podcast with Toph, and participates in other skits and content ideas. His legacy still lives on, with his fan base hoping he will one day return to competition. PPMD still remains a prominent figure in the scene, and his legacy can't be questioned as he is one of the five original gods. As always, stack it up. How good do you think PPMD would be if he played in today's tournaments? Don't forget to check out the Patreon where you guys can support me making Smash content. Thank you all so much for watching.